this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's uh, lovely world. Good morning, William Beaver! Good morning, Polly Reindeer! And good morning, Fizzy Elephant! Wherever you may be, and whenever you're going to, to show up here, I am being joined by lots of helpers today, and that is because it's a tournament today! We are going to be playing the brand new mini game Cart Count, which we just finished building in my fun land. Isn't that right, Fizzy Elephant? But before we do that, I am going to be... Is that not right? Is that not what we're doing? Maybe we're not. Maybe we're just going to follow Fizzy around today instead. No, we're not. We're going to play the game. I spent four episodes building it. I want to, to play it. So let's go and have my breakfast first. Nom, 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 nom. Delicious, Barnaby, you can stand up and you can follow me. And uh, before we go and play the, the cart count mini game, I'm going to go and add someone to my fun land. So let's go through my crafting room. Let's go down the ladder to my fun land, not my fun land, my love garden 2.0. And uh, let's reveal who it is that I'm going to be adding to it today. And uh, I'm adding uh, Luana today. And that's because for her 10th birthday, she kind of went stampy crazy. She had a stampy cake. She got my books. You can see some of her fan art that she did. There's a homemade stampy cat pillow. Hello. And yeah, I was kind of blown away with just how much stampy stuff there was. So I wanted to wish you a uh, late 10th birthday. I know it's not your birthday anymore. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for all of the, uh, the the stampy stuff, sending the picture, and welcome to my love garden. All right then, let's go to the, the doghouse. Uh, there's no tension about who I'm going to be uh, picking with me to today. Pretty much every time we're playing a mini game, I bring a Duncan and Mittens, the dog-cat duo that everybody loves in my lovely world. So uh, yeah, let's go and sit Barnaby down here to, to spend the, the day with the rest of the, the wolf pack, and uh, I need to go and try and track down where Duncan is. Uh, they kind of look the, the same from behind, so there we go. Here is Duncan. Uh, let's go up to the kitty cat condo and grab mittens, and we can then use the teleporter to get straight to the, the fun land, where we can bin the, uh, begin the cart count mini game. And uh, if you don't know what the game is, um, it's going to be a frantic one to today. It's a, a very simple uh, mini game in, uh, in concept, but uh, to play, uh, it's going to be a really challenging one. Basically, there's a bunch of minecarts that are going to be banging into each other all over the place up to 15 minecarts and you need to try and count them it may be impossible to actually count them or at least extremely difficult so if you can't count them exactly you just need to, to have your best guess uh, you then type in on my uh, special fancy redstone item frame system uh, and then that way uh, you can just basically mark how many uh, you think there are you go and uh, go for an open door if you got it right grab an emerald and put it in the item frame and then you're the winner of that round so we're going to do uh, two 1v1s and then the winners are going to face uh, face off against each other in the cart count final. So there, that's the, the plan for today. Uh, let's go into the, the, the teleporter and uh, one at a time, Fizzy. I don't want to, to come out the, the teleporter with a giant elephant trunk on the uh, <laughs> on the, the front of me. Anyway, we should uh, have just about arrived at the, the fun land now. So let's uh, go out the, the teleporter. I'm sure Duncan and Mittens would have teleported pretty closely behind us and then they're going to, to join us. But first things first, am I going to be able to, to make it across all of the puck? Ah, sorry, <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Sorry, my, my voice just cut out for a second there. But anyway, doesn't matter. We are here. This is the cart count minigame. As you can see, we've built the, the giant minecart. Everything is 100% built on the, the inside. I also neatened up the, the redstone. If you did watch the, the, the redstone warning video, the, the last episode I uploaded, you'll know that the, uh, the redstone wasn't the easiest thing to do in the world, but we got it working in the last episode, so I didn't really change anything. I just kind of made it a little bit tidier for this episode, just, uh, just so there's less giant pits full of redstone for for people to, to fall into. So, all right then, let's uh, begin the, the first round. It looks like uh, William is ready to, to go, so you can be over there on the, the yellow side. Uh, I'll be here on the, the red side, and I believe that Fizzy Elephant uh, is going to, to set up the, the game for us now. So what's going to happen is Fizzy Elephant is going to go and put down a whole load of minecarts on the, the track. Hopefully not too many, because <laughs> it is a, a tricky game. Uh, and then uh, we will be spinning the, um, the item frames here uh, to to, to guess how many uh, of the, the, the minecarts have been put on the, the track. If we get it correct, then we run down this corridor and then that door will be open uh, inside of there. There's a chest with a, an emerald in. Grab the emerald, run all the way back down the, the corridor and place it in the, the item frame here. The reason it's so far away is because if the door was closer, we'd just be able to hear whether it opens and we could kind of just keep spinning the, the torches until it ends up opening up, which wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be the, the spirit of the game. And then you can go up against Fizzy Elephant after Polly. You can just be our, our spectator with Duncan and Mittens. Anyway, uh, hopefully uh, Fizzy has got the, the game nicely set up. So we need to get in position over here, William. So we basically just stare at the, the window here. 
Once Fizzy has set it up on both sides, then there's going to be two blocks on the other side of this window, uh, which are going to get pulled back. And then we're going to have our, our first glimpse into the, the room and our first chance to, to try and count exactly how many mine cuts I'm with again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there's seven. I think there's seven. So let's go uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? I don't know if there was seven or if there's eight. It looks like, uh, it looks like William Beaver's still counting. Oh no, it wasn't seven. It wasn't seven. Seven wasn't the correct answer. It might be eight though, maybe. So let's go and turn it to, to eight and let's see if the door's going to be open. It's the first person to put the emerald down in the, the item frame is going to, to be the winner. I think it's going to be close though. I think it's going to be close. Oh, I've got back. I've got back. There we go. I was able to put the emerald in the item frame. I think William Beaver, he did get it correct as well, but he was just too slow to be able to, to put it in. That was crazy. So you can see the different strategies. I guessed mine way quicker. But I guessed wrong the first time, and William Beaver took longer to, to count, but I was able to do it quick enough, I was still able to win. But that was so unbelievably quick, though. So let's go and put the, the emeralds back inside of the, the chest. Uh, so don't break away the um the, the repeaters yet, Fizzy, because otherwise we won't be able to, to get inside of the, the room. So yeah, let's put the, the emeralds back in the, the chest, uh, ready for the, the next go. And then it's going to be my turn to set up the, the game now and to uh, show you uh, how all of that is, uh, is going to, to work. So this round is going to be a poly going up against Fizzy and then the winner of that game uh, is going to be facing me in the the, the cart, cart, uh, cart count grand final so let me uh, go backstage now Fizzy uh, you can go over to the, the front don't worry about the repeaters or anything I'm going to be moving them anyway uh, so yeah I now get to, to go and uh, put down the, the minecart. So I can't say how many I'm going to, to put down because everyone can hear me right now. So you're just going to have to, to count with me. But I do need to count in my head. So, uh... Need to count. I want to make sure I get this right. Let me just double check this. There's... I can't, it's so high, I can't count out loud. I'm going to have to count in my head. Okay, so I know how many are there, and then I'm going to put down this many, and then that's how many minecarts there's going to be. I didn't really think about how hard it is just to, to count in your head like that. So now, uh, that's how many minecarts uh, are in. I now just basically need to, to mark it uh, on this side over here. So it looks like uh, the repeaters are left there. I can't actually <laughs> I can't actually reach them, but it's okay. I got some spare ones here, so uh, I need to go and place the, the, the repeater uh, on the, the same line for the, the amount of minecarts I put down. Then let's go and do the, the same on this side here. And then, yeah, I now just need to go over to the the yellow side as well and do the same down there just to make so it's uh, sure it's fair uh, and then yeah they both need to, to try and guess so uh, I didn't know I didn't know how difficult to, to go for for this round but uh, I think this is going to be a this is going to be a pretty good level of difficulty for for this game so let's go and place this one on that level there once again I cannot say how many uh, I'm doing uh, because otherwise that's going to, to be cheating and then I can go and place this one down there like that and right everything is now in position and uh, actually, let me just let me just double check that I did place that repeater in the right place. I think I did. I just want to I just want to make extra doubly sure. And uh, uh, yeah, that is all in the, the right place. So now I'm going to go back into the, the the other room, the kind of behind the scenes room, and I'm going to pull the, the lever and the doors are going to, to open. So hopefully everyone's in position. I am opening the doors now. Right. The doors are now open and uh, both people uh, are able to, to look inside and start counting it all. It looks like Fizzy has made a guess already. I saw Fizzy right away but Polly wasn't long behind. I saw Fizzy now running off to, to, to his side. Uh, I can now go and stand here and uh, I can go and look in through um, uh, through the, the window and I can see who is going to be first to put the emerald down and oh Fizzy he got it right immediately absolutely no hesitation and he was able to, to put the emerald in. That was an amazing effort and Polly was right as well. They were both correct but it looks like Fizzy was just a little bit faster and uh, was able to, to win which means the grand and final is going to be Fizzy going up against me. So uh, what that means is we can have um, uh, Polly Reindeer uh, going back uh, behind the, the scenes and Polly Reindeer can set up the, the game for, for us uh, so we can go and, uh, and have our rounds. So let me just go first here and place all of the, the, the mine carts into the, the chest there so they're all ready like that. And then yeah, Polly, do you want her to come back here? Well, tell you what, I think we have time. I think we have time to see who's going to be in third and fourth place. So tell you what, let's have Polly going up against William Beaver first and then we can work out exactly uh, at which uh, at which position everyone is. So make sure the, the emeralds are back where they they need to be and i can just go and set up a, another game here and uh, we can have um uh, yeah, Polly going up uh, against William, and we can see who's going to be in third and fourth place. Seeing as the, the rounds of this game are so fast, there's no reason not to. So uh, let's choose how many minecarts to, to have. Let's have... Um, 
hmm, let's do this many, I think. And uh, it's quite easy to set it just like that. And like, oh no, not like that. But like, can I do this to, to place it down? Um, okay, maybe I can't do it like that. Oh, there we go. There we go. So that is uh, how many minecarts are going to, to be in the, the game. Uh, on my way past, I might just go and put the, the minecarts in just to, just to make sure I don't forget. <laughs> so let's only take out as many as I need. There we go. Okay, that's all of the minecarts I need. So, oh, we need to, I need to shut the, the door first. Otherwise, otherwise, everyone's just going to see exactly how many are going around. That would make the, the game a whole bunch easier if they could just see me placing them down. So, yep, there are the minecarts down there. I now need to just go and set up the, the repeaters on the, the other side here. And then, yeah, basically the winner of this game is going to be in third place. And then the, the loser of this game is going to be uh, in fourth place. And then after this, we can have the, the, the grand finals with the, the cat against the, the elephant to, to see uh, who's going to be the, the cart count champion. So uh, I'm going to go and place down one uh, repeater here. Go around to the, the other side and do it there. Let me just go and double check that I've done it right. And um, yep, that is... Um and it's all looking good. Actually, no, it's not. This uh, this repeat is supposed to be on this side there. I had a feeling like I'd done it wrong, but there we go. It's all set up now and uh, and ready to, to go. So I'm going to go back inside of the, the room. Polly and William, make sure you are ready in positions, staring through the window. The fastest person here is going to be the winner. The doors are going to open in three, two, one, and go. So that should be the, the doors opening up. Who's going to be the first to react? It looks like Polly was the first to back off first, but is she going to be able to get it right? There's no point being quick if you're not going to get it right. And hello. Hello, Fizzy. <laughs> Fizzy's there just joining in and just watching. Oh, they're both off. Look at that. They both charged off at pretty much the exact same time. But who is going to be the first person to get the emerald in the item frame? Excuse me, Fizzy. I'm trying to watch the game. And oh, it looks like it was William. Only just Polly came by just seconds afterwards. But that means that William Beaver is going to be in third place. So congratulations, William. That was ridiculously close, though, Polly. That was so, so, so close. So yeah, do you want to go and put the, the emerald back into the, the chest and we can be ready for the, the grand finals. Let's just go and uh, break away all of these minecarts uh, away like this, put them back in the, the chest and then they're going to be ready for the, the next person uh, to, to go and set up the, the game. So let's go and uh, put all of these uh, away in here. There's no point really breaking away the, 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 the repeaters because uh, whoever's going to go and set up the, the game, they can just rearrange them. So I guess uh, uh, Polly Reindeer, do you want to, to do the, the honours for the, the final round? You can put down as many or as few minecarts as you want uh, and then we will have a, a go and see who's going to be the, the first person to, to be able to, to get the, the emerald. I'm looking forward to this, Fizzy. I'm also a a bit worried because Fizzy was able to do it ridiculously quick on his go and it's kind of scaring me a little bit because I got quite lucky because me and William went on the the very first ever round so it was kind of when we were just getting the the hang of things and I made a mistake but I was only just able to win so I had far from a, a convincing win on my first go but but Fizzy had no problem winning his round so things probably aren't looking that good for me and I have a feeling Seeing as this is the, the final round, that I have a feeling like Polly is, isn't going to make this easy for us. I don't think these doors are going to open and there's going to be one minecart going around on a track. Although that might be quite exciting because it's all just about speed at that point. But I don't think that that is what is going to, to end up happening uh, in this round here. But anyway, okay, welcome back. Um... <laughs> Sorry for the, the weird cut to an elephant's uh, uh, head. We just did do the final round, but the, the redstone wasn't working properly. So we were both trying to open the door, but both couldn't open the door. So we've said that that round doesn't count. I cut it out in the video. And now this is the actual final round. So everything should be set up busy. So let's get in positions. We can reveal the final room in three two one go 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 open the door polly open the door right oh god there's loads uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven i think there's like 12 i think so one two three four five six okay should you do this to eight and then uh nine ten eleven and twelve right i think it was twelve it might not be twelve but this is this is my best guess and i want to be fast oh, no it's not twelve it is not twelve it is not twelve oh no okay i think fizzy's gone i don't think he got it right though let's go for let's go for 13 oh, i think he's doing the exact same as me. I got stuck though. I got stuck in the corridor. Is the door open? It's not, it's not open on 13 either. Maybe, maybe it wasn't 12. Maybe it was 11. Let me go and try and do 11 next then. So, uh, 8, uh, 9, 10, 11. Let's see if this is going to be right though. Because if it's not, it might be like like 14 or something. Oh, it's 11. It's 11. I got it. It's 11. I got the emerald. I got the emerald. I got the emerald. Oh, I was off by one with my first guess, but I went the wrong way. But no, Fizzy. <laughs> Fizzy, why did you do that? Why 
why did you go and win? <laughs> yeah, I was so happy with myself for getting it right. And then I come back and Vizzy's just there happily chilling out with his new emerald. <laughs> oh dear, so congratulations, Vizzy Elephant. You are the cart count champion that is a proud elephant there parading around the, the lawn outside that game was so much fun it's so difficult it's so difficult that was the highest number we had imagine if we had one which was like 14 or 15 or something it would be it would be so 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 difficult but i reckon if you played this game a bunch you could get so good at like just working out how many there are immediately but that game Seeing as it was all about counting minecarts, that was way more fun than that game had any right to, to be. But anyway, that is the, the end of this episode here. Congratulations once again to, to Fizzy Elephant for being the official cart count champion. <laughs> And uh, of course, a big thank you to Polly and William for joining us and uh, yeah, playing in the tournament as well. And thank you to, to Duncan and Mittens for being the uh, the best uh, spectators and fans we could have ever hoped for. And of course, thank you to you for watching. But that is the, the end of this episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!